Hello everyone and welcome to Art Smart. Today we are looking at stills from the 1922 film Nosferatu. This film is one of the more famous silent films uh, really ever. Uh, if you look at the entire era, this is one of the more famous films from that particular era. It's also pretty famous though for being the grandfather of the horror film. If you enjoy that type of film, this is definitely a film that you want to check out as you can see a lot of the tropes that would happen later on uh, in that type of film uh, starting here. However, uh, in terms of Art Smart, I would like to focus a little bit more, though, on the set design today. The set design was created in order to have a German Expressionist feel. Now, if you're not sure what German Expressionism is, it was a, a type of art style which really was uh, trying to set a mood quickly with images and using a lot of angles. It would use a lot of contrast between uh, light and darkness. It would uh, use uh, kind of textures that you would make on uh, whatever canvas you were working with. And in this case, the canvas was the film itself. Uh, they would basically utilize those different things to instantly set a mood and make you feel something. The whole idea of expressionism is for you to instantly feel what the artist is uh, feeling. In this particular film, they were definitely trying to get across the idea that this is a horror film. It is, you know, a very bad situation. Everything is dark. Everything is moody. All of the angles that they have of the building are slanted and pointed uh, to give across the idea of these sharp edges, these uh, nasty thoughts. Uh, a lot of people uh, think of uh, sharp edges and angles as being kind of representative of negative thoughts and um, of things like knives. And so the buildings themselves kind of look like these uh, scary knives that are coming at you. And it's kind of interesting to look at them. Uh, it's also so uh, really uh, great to see all the contrast between the darkness and the light that they use on the screen here, where uh, there are places that are much darker than is probably going to really happen in real life, and then things on the screen that are much uh, lighter and brighter, and it almost looks like somebody's going to creep out of the darkness and jump out at you. Uh, this is a great use of German Expressionism, and it really came during the height of that movement, and so uh, it's it's not a coincidence that the Expressionist uh, style was utilized in this film. It was very much in vogue, uh, and it definitely inspired a lot of people when it came to film, and it also inspired a lot of artists. Um, when you think of Expressionism, most people think about uh, the visual arts, and that's where it, it is most famous, really. But I think this is a great example of what Expressionism is, and it's a very relatable uh, example of it, so that you can look at these images and understand exactly what uh, that type of uh, art form is. Is Expressionism always necessarily negative? No, but a lot of the times it is. And uh, this is a very... Uh, great example of how these negative, dark, uh, uh, scary images can be created just through the design. Hopefully this makes you a little bit more art smart, and hopefully you're going to go check out this really great silent film. Have a great day, everybody.